Searching PubMed using medical subject headings. This tutorial is brought to you by the Lister Hill Library of the Health Sciences at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. The previous tutorial in this series showed you several ways to identify appropriate medical subject headings or MeSH terms for a search topic. In this tutorial, you will learn how to search PubMed using those MeSH terms. Let's continue working on the clinical question from the last tutorial. Does cognitive behavior therapy reduce anxiety in children with autism spectrum disorders? In the previous tutorial, you may recall that PubMed translated our search like this. It did map our terms to MeSH terms, but it also searched for our terms in all fields, which often results in a search that is broader than we really want or need. Searching all fields for a term may retrieve articles that mention a term and aren't really about that term. Searching by subject heading will result in a more focused search. We've already done step one of a MeSH search. In the previous tutorial, we identified the MeSH terms that are probably the best matches for our topics. Cognitive therapy, anxiety, and child development disorders pervasive. Now we need to tell PubMed to find articles that have been tagged with all three of these MeSH terms. To do this, we need to add each MeSH term to a PubMed article search. We can go to the MeSH database to begin. We know from the previous tutorial that cognitive therapy is the best MeSH term to use for cognitive behavior therapy, so we can enter cognitive therapy in the blank at the top. Then we can click search. To add this MeSH term to a PubMed article search, click the Add to Search Builder button on the right. You'll see that your search statement is automatically formatted with this tag after the term, which tells PubMed to only search for articles that have been tagged with this subject heading. You could continue on and add the other two MeSH terms to this search box now, but I generally advise running separate searches for each term and then combining those terms using PubMed's search history feature. The advantage of doing separate searches and then combining them at the end is that you have all of your search terms saved in your search history and can mix and match them as needed. I can almost guarantee you that you'll need to try different search term combinations to do a comprehensive search of the literature on a topic. Think of the individual saved searches as your building blocks. Let's try this approach of doing separate searches so you can see what I mean. Once you've got Cognitive Therapy in the PubMed Search Builder, click Search PubMed. From here, we can either click the PubMed icon in the top left to return to the PubMed homepage and repeat what we just did, or we can use a shortcut. We can search the MeSH database from here by selecting MeSH from the drop-down menu at the top. We can enter the term we want to look up and click search. Let's try looking up anxiety. The MeSH database suggests several different subject headings for the word anxiety. We might actually want to try both anxiety and anxiety disorders. Sometimes it's hard to know at the outset of a search which term is best. Sometimes both terms are helpful for finding slightly different sets of results. Let's go ahead and add both to our search history. Again, we'll add them separately so we can mix and match them later. Since we already know exactly what MeSH term we want to search by, we can go ahead and enter Anxiety Disorders. Now we have just one more concept to add to our search history before we can combine all of our terms. Child Development Disorders Pervasive, which we know from the previous tutorial is the best term to use for autism spectrum disorders. We can do something a little different with this term to demonstrate how to search using subheadings. Since we are interested in the treatment of a trait of autism spectrum disorders, we can focus on these two subheadings. 
which will weed out articles that don't focus on treatment-related issues. If I'm not sure which subheading might be the most appropriate, I often check both. Now we can follow the same steps we've been using to move these terms to a PubMed article search. After we've checked the boxes for the ones we want, click Add to Search Builder. You can see how this search statement is formatted a little differently. We're telling PubMed to search for articles that have been tagged with these specific subheadings related to the broader MeSH term. Keep in mind that this is a narrower search than if we search without subheadings. So if you're struggling to get results with subheadings, one thing you can try is to run your search again without subheadings. One other point I'll make while we're here has to do with me the MeSH tree or hierarchy we learned about in the previous tutorial. Remember, it's at the bottom of the MeSH record. You can see here that there are two narrower terms that fall under Child Development Disorders Pervasive, Asperger's Syndrome and Autistic Disorder. By default, PubMed searches for all terms that fall underneath a given term in the MeSH hierarchy. Usually, this is a good thing in how you want PubMed to search. But if you ever don't want PubMed to search like this, you have the option of checking this box. Do not include MeSH terms found below this term in the MeSH hierarchy. This will ensure that PubMed only retrieves articles that have been tagged specifically with the MeSH term you've selected, and not by any terms that fall below it in the MeSH tree. PubMed indexers tag articles records with the most specific MeSH term possible. So if you click this box, you should only get articles that talk about the given MeSH term in general terms without addressing the narrower terms that fall beneath it in the hierarchy. Let's click Search PubMed and begin combining our searches. PubMed has been saving each search we've done in this session. It will automatically save your searches on an individual computer for eight hours. To view a list of all your previous searches, click Advanced. Here you can see a list of our original keyword search from the previous tutorial in our individual MeSH term searches we've done in this tutorial. Now we can use the search numbers here to combine our MeSH terms. Let's try Cognitive Therapy and Anxiety and the subheading search we just did and see what we get. These all look like good articles for our topic. Remember, each one of these articles has been tagged with all three of the MeSH terms we specified, so this increases the chance that we retrieve highly relevant articles. Since we want to be as thorough as possible in our search, let's also try the Anxiety Disorders MeSH term to see if we pick up any additional relevant articles. Click Advance to return to your search history. Now we can do the same thing we just did except use the search number for the Anxiety Disorders MeSH term instead of the one for Anxiety. This search did retrieve a completely different list of articles, so remember to try several different MeSH terms if you're not sure which one might be best. This concludes this tutorial on searching PubMed using MeSH. For more information on searching PubMed, visit this guide created specifically for OT653.